Hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial on uh, making a DVD. And what I mean by making a DVD is sometimes you might have some files that you know you get from your camera or you might get from the internet, and you want to put those on a DVD to play back on a DVD player. And um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do that. Uh, of course, this is all free software you get just from the internet. Go ahead and uh, launch Google and search up DVD Flick. Uh, the domain is dvdflick.net. The great thing about this uh, software is that, of course, it supports a lot of formats. I'm talking AVI, um, MPEG, uh, H264, uh, all types of formats. This will get all those formats onto a playable DVD. Uh, go ahead and download the software and install it onto your computer. Yeah, let's launch that up. Okay, as you can see, this program is very easy to use. There's uh, not much going on, but it's it gets the job done, and that's what I like. Um, go ahead on the right side and add a title. Let's start this thing up. I've got a movie here that I would like on a DVD. Let's go ahead into project settings and get this thing going. The title, let's change that up. Target size, of course we want it on a DVD or you can put it on a CD if it's a small uh, video. But I have a one, at one hour 40 minute video so of course it's not going to fit on a CD it'll have to go on to a DVD and of course you can do dual layer if you have multiple um, f uh, files that you want to you know put on the DVD uh, encoder I put that always on above normal because once I leave this here I just let the program do its job of course you can still use the computer but it'll just slow down the process. The video, um, we're gonna have it on NTSC because we're on the, uh, well, I'm on the uh, Eastern uh, US. Uh, if you're in Europe or whatever, you can go ahead and select PAL. I'll go ahead and select NTSC. Encoding, I'll put it on best because I want the best image. Uh, target bitrate, I'll leave that on auto. Audio, you can just leave that on uh, auto and add 100%. Playback, um, you can loop to first title when uh, the movie's done. That way it'll take you back to the menu. Burning, here's what we need to do. Um, you can create an ISO file if you guys know what that is. Or you can burn it directly to, to the disk. I'll select that. The disk label. I'll title it the same as the uh, the same as the video file. And speed. You want to set that to two x. That way you don't get too many uh, errors when you're playing back. And um, you can select verify disk after burning and eject the tray when it's done. Go ahead and accept and what I like about this is that it gives you an option to add a menu got a lot of good menus here let's check this one out I like this one, I'll, I'll leave this one I guess accept and you want to go ahead and edit your title um, you can put a name on there too um, this one's already the same so I'll just leave it great thing about this is you can add chapters as well that way you can fast forward through you know bits of the movies or video files I have mine set to every 15 minutes you can set it to 10 or whatever amount of minutes you'd like uh, 15 chapters 15 minutes each sounds good to me great thing about this is you can add um, subtitles as well um, but I'll do that on a separate video show you how to add subtitles to your videos hit accept and let's select the folder we want to put this into of course um, create a new folder that way you don't erase anything anything by mistake 
uh, create your own folder, make a new folder, and you know, do what you got to do there. Let's go ahead and uh, create the DVD. That's the best part about it. This process takes about uh, 40 minutes to encode the video. And um, after it's done, about another 25 to burn onto the disk. At this point, you want to go ahead and insert your D uh, blank DVD into your drive. Go ahead and get that going in there. Just insert your blank, and uh, once this is done, you'll have a playable DVD. And there you have it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please, if you have any questions, comments, anything, just you know where to leave them. Thanks for watching.